All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, if any modern era UFC athlete is worthy of a Hall of Fame distinction despite having never realized a UFC title, I would submit to you Donald Cowboy Cerrone. His resume reads like a UFC record book. And he just keeps on getting better. Every time you think Cowboy is starting to get to the end of the rope, he reinvents himself. He makes some small change to his game that allows him to compete at the highest level. The run that he went on after beating Alexander Hernandez and then coupling that with the massive victory over Ally Aquinta, you thought watching that you were watching the very best Cowboy Cerrone ever seen, and this is at the tail end of a career that spanned over a decade. And his new source of motivation, his son, Danger, these are very legitimate championship aspirations for Donald Cowboy Cerrone, trying to move one step closer here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Cerrone is one year his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Bridgewater, Massachusetts, USA, Joe Lozon. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 16 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. A good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Beautiful kick. Such a fast leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, spinning back fist. Right punches there. Beautiful right hand. So once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? 
All right, single collar tie now. And Mick, hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the Side control now. Lozon's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Just over two minutes to go in round one. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. So the tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he looks to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Joe Chambers. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. Sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way